So when a woman loses interest or backs off, your instincts just kick in and you want to get her back and reattract her as soon as possible. But you want to know what's really effective? When you give a girl FOMO, FOMO is the fear of missing out. It's very effective and powerful, and that's exactly why I suggest you watch the video until the very end to gain the most possible out of the video. What's going on, guys? My name is Assam from DopeLifeCoaching.com, and today I'm going to be talking about how to reattract a girl back fast after she lost interest. Now, for all you first timers on my channel who want consistent updates on content just like this, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss a single thing. So at this point, you're probably here because some girl lost interest in you and you thought she was interested and you thought things were going well, but for whatever reason, she pulled back or she lost interest and you want her back and you want the most guaranteed method to just get her back right away before it's too late. Well, there's a two-step process to doing this. So here's what I want you to do for the next couple days. Number one, do absolutely nothing. I know it's counterintuitive, but it's very powerful. And here's why it's powerful. When a woman loses interest in you, what does she expect and what does every single guy do? They chase after her, they beg and plead her, they fucking bombard her with questions like a cop interrogating someone. Oh, why'd you lose interest? I thought we were a good match. This, that, and the other. No, you do the complete opposite. You back off, you do your own thing for a couple of days, and I recommend three days for those of you who want the specific amount of days. But it's very powerful because she's gonna start to get curious. And here's where everything starts, with the curiosity. Because from the curiosity, it will turn into concern if you do the right things. And the concern will eventually lead to preoccupation where she keeps thinking about you and she has to reach out in order to get a hold of you because she starts to fear losing you. And she's also second guessing things like, hmm, maybe this guy found someone else. Maybe he's not as interested in me as I thought. And that's exactly where you want her to be. And also another thing, man, when you're unactive for a couple of days on your own social media, it's a healthy detox for you in general. You're detoxing from people, you're taking your space for a couple of days, and that's just healthy. You're kind of reprogramming yourself and cleansing yourself. It's kind of like a detox. So when you're doing your own thing for a couple of days and she doesn't hear from you, she doesn't see your activity on social media, maybe that will get her curious too. And by the way, guys, I'm just saying maybe because there's no guarantee about anything. There's no guarantee with women. There's no such thing as you do this and then boom, 100% chance of a success. No, that's just ridiculous to assume. And that's a loser's mentality. What I want you to do here is develop a winner's mentality. And also, guys, just as a side note, I don't want you guys resorting to tricks and tactics, magic methods, magic formulas for success that are guaranteed to work. Because the more you resort to them, dude, the more disappointed you'll be. And the reason being is that, number one, you're going to start to feel like a robot. And number two, not just that, women will be able to pick up on whether you're being authentic or you're just saying this to try to attract her. Women are very intuitive, dude. They know exactly what you're feeling without even you saying a word. I know it kind of sounds scary, but it's true. So the last thing you want is to just resort to tricks and tactics all the time. Sure, they could be fun every now and then, but just don't make a habit out of it because that's not really effective. You want to be effective and you want to be authentic. At the end of the day, you want authentic connection with whoever it is you're after. And also, guys, another side note. I hate to say this to you, dude, but if she's not interested in the slightest, none of these are going to work. None of these tactics are going to work. At the end of the day, if she's not interested, no matter what you say, no matter what you try to do, she's not going to be interested in you, dude. So just take that with a grain of salt and take it objectively instead of subjectively and reactively. And in the meantime, to get your game tight, watch the videos on the rest of my channel. And also in the meantime, book a free consultation with me on my website so I can assess your situation and make your game tight and, and determine the proper game plan for you to succeed with women. So step number two, give the girl the feeling of FOMO fear of missing out. Now we mentioned earlier that we want to turn the curiosity into concern and that concern into preoccupation. Now here's a great way for you to do it. After you back off for a couple of days, I want you to go out and do something that you haven't done in a long time and something that you really enjoy. You could do it alone, sure, but I'd recommend you do this with people 
so that you can demonstrate social proof. And what's even more ideal is if there's girls involved because that gives you even more social proof and more status. But anyways, whatever it is you're doing, it could be bowling, it could be archery, ice skating, whatever it is, you know more than me. Take a picture of whatever it is you're doing and ideally you wanna be with people, especially other females as friends. Post that picture on social media on some spot that she's likely to see it. And you obviously know this more than me. Maybe she's more active on Snapchat, maybe on Instagram, maybe she's even more active on Facebook. But whatever it is you're doing, you want a group picture that shows that you're having a good time with your friends and post it on social media after that three days detox. And again, guys, just because this is likely to be effective at getting the woman who lost interest in you, getting her to be reattracted, you don't wanna do this for her. At the end of the day, you wanna do it for you. You detoxed from social media and you did your own thing and you went out and had fun even if you were all alone. That's still a high status thing to do. You're doing what you want. You're not letting the circumstances of the environment control you. You're controlling those circumstances to make yourself happy. But anyways, guys, besides that, when you post that picture to social media and she sees that you're having a good time, actually, she sees that you're having a better time than you did when she was in your life. That curiosity of hers is most likely to turn into concern, which we mentioned, and that concern is most likely to turn into preoccupation because now she's thinking, wait, now this guy's having fun. Not only is he not messaging me, but he's having more fun than he did when he was with me. Who are these people? Who are these girls in the picture? What, what exactly is going on? Did he just lose interest? And if she is interested in the slightest, this will intrigue her and it is likely to work to get her to reach out to you. I'm saying likely because again, there's no guarantee with women, but at the end of the day, you wanna do what's going to work most likely. And even if it doesn't have a winner's mindset and actually learn from this video instead of having a loser's mindset. And again, as I said earlier, if a woman is not interested in you, nothing you do is going to work. If she's not interested in the slightest, she's not gonna care about you uploading this, uploading that, or whoever you're seeing. That's just the bottom line. But if she was interested, even in the slightest, and you backed off and you did this, it is really likely that it's going to work. And obviously you wanna do what is likely to work instead of doing nothing at all. That puts you in the best position for the best possible outcome that you want to reattract this particular woman. So just as a recap, guys, in order to reattract the woman who lost interest in you, what you want to do first is you want to back off and give her that space and kind of detox from everybody, not just from her. Work on you, do the things that you actually like to do. And then afterwards, look at that hobby that you haven't been going after or just something fun in general. Go out there and post a picture of you doing that one thing could be anything. And then obviously you want it to be with people to demonstrate social proof, especially with women. And then if she sees that, if she's interested in the slightest, again, like we said earlier, it will intrigue her. But if she's not interested, none of this is going to matter. But at the end of the day, when you give the girl FOMO, which is the fear of missing out, it is likely to work if she has even a slight interest in you because that gets her curious and then concerned and then hopefully preoccupied. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you like the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And also, if you want consistent updates on contents just like this, smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you don't miss a thing. For free consultations on my website, go to www.dopelifecoaching.com. And if you want a one-hour detailed consultation, I'll map out a game plan for you. And I promise you won't regret it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Go out there, be the highest versions of yourselves, and just go out there kill it, and then succeed more and more with the women of your choice. Peace.